Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I'm working on some of this Valentine decor that I picked up um, last week at Dollar Tree. I want to get started on this instead of putting it away and never getting to it, like what happens a lot with a lot of things I get at Dollar Tree. So anyway, I want to work on this little guy here. Um, this is just like a little triangle. I guess, you know, a lot of people said you could use this for like succulents or whatever, but I kind of want to decorate it up for Valentine's Day. And I picked up this little sign here that says Happy Valentine's Day. And I did a lot of little drawings on here because you really got to kind of define your letters and things on this. So I kind of figured it out best I could and just kind of penciled off where I want to paint. I think I'm going to paint the Happy and the Day in white and then the Valentine I'm going to paint in this really pretty pink. Um, this is just some apple barrel paint. You can use whatever paint you want on these. And then the hearts and things I think I'm going to do in reds and maybe pink. I'm not sure yet. Um, once I get the letters all painted out the way I want to and I love the way the T comes all the way down to the S on here and same with this N here. It has this big swirl that goes all the way around. I thought that was really nice. Now this one here I'm going to do, actually I have two of these because these are kind of flimsy. So what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to cut off the jute string here. So I'm going to start this first because this has to dry. And I'm going to glue these two together to make them more sturdy, which works out great. I've done that before with a lot of different things. And I'm going to use some of the wood glue from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to get this thing glued together and then I'm going to show you the paints I'm going to do on here. Um, I'm not going to make you watch me paint these because it's going to take quite a few hours to get these all done. But let's see, which one do I like the best? Okay, I think this one I'll put on the top. So I'm going to put the glue on here and I'm going to do that with a nice little stiff brush. And I'm going to squeeze actually some of this wood glue in one of these little plastic containers because I think this is going to be much easier to paint this on and then just glue it together because I don't want it too, too thick and I'm going to kind of have to work fast because um, this glue will start to set up pretty easy. And I mainly want to get a lot of it around the edges here so that all that will stick together real good. But I may stop halfway because I think I'll be able to pry it open to get in there to do some more of this. Um, glue. <clears throat> but yeah, this stuff does dry pretty fast. This wood glue from Dollar Tree. And if I could, you find this wood glue if you haven't seen it yet. It's down in um, by the automotive section and the hardware stuff. It's not in the crafters. Yeah, see this stuff's drying really fast. It's not in the crafters square section. All right, so I got that half done there. Let's see if we can. Let me get this together here. And then I can put the glue on the other side of it. But I want to get this started here. Let me just hold this up here and make sure I have this perfectly matching up here. And then after I get this wood glue on here, I'm just going to lay like a book on top of it just to keep it in place. I think that's going to work good. So I'm just going to lift this side up here. Ooh, I heard something pop. Hopefully I didn't break much of it. <laughs> Carefully lift this side up and then get some on these edges here. The center I'm not too worried about because it's all going to stay together. Just get a little bit here and there. But mainly I just want to make sure that all the edges are glued down really good. And then we'll just put a little bit down in here, there. And I think that will hold that together just fine because this wood glue is absolutely amazing. All right, I think that looks good. Looks like one thick piece. So I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to lay a big heavy book or something. I don't know what I'm putting on it yet over here. And then we're going to, I'll show you what I'm going to do with these other little guys. Now that piece too would be great if you wanted to use that in the center of a wreath or something once you have that doubled up and it's nice and sturdy. So let me get this book here. Here's a book. I'm just piling stuff on top of it right now. There we go. All right, so I got a book on that. I'm going to have to put this glue back in this bottle too because I got way too much out. 
Now, like I said, for this one here, you really kind of got to go in with a pencil to figure out how you want your lines to be. I mean, you could have your A come over here, but I decided to make the V go across the A. Um, and here, I'm going to bring out this letter, and then I don't know exactly what I'm going to use. I'm probably just going to use some a little bit darker to define this when it's all painted. And I was going to bring the heart down, but then I really didn't like the way it looked, so we're just going to leave that as the swirl going over the heart. And then down here, you kind of have to define your little letters. Because, you know, they're all just made in one solid piece. But, like I said, you can see where I put all my little pencil marks on how I want to paint this. So I'm just going to take this little string over here. I love these ones because you can just pop these right out. And then pop them right back in when you're done. But the other ones were tied on. So, so I'm going to set that little string aside there. And then for this little guy too, this just has a little jute string on here that I untied. And the back, this backing, I think on this one, I'm going to do in the sheepskin color because I really want these things just to kind of pop out. I was going to do it white, but I don't really want it white, white. And I think I'm going to put some flower, little tiny roses that I got at Dollar Tree a while ago in here. I'll show you that once I get these all done. Um, and then I may add some of these little um, hearts and things to it. Now what I did with some of these was I just put these on the little skewers that you can get at Dollar Tree, and I just stacked them up on here. Just stick them right through because they're styrofoam. And I think these will look really pretty with some um, Valentine decor in there for this one. So that's what I'm going to do with that guy with some flowers for this one. And then I have a couple other ones I'm going to do another day um, that I think I'll try with some succulents and some other things. All right. So like I said, I'm just going to show you the colors I'm going to use on here. I'm going to use this pretty, pretty pink. I love this pink. Where's my little thingy? Like I said, these are just apple barrel acrylics. Um, so I'm going to use that pretty pink for the Valentine word. And then I'm going to use, um, oh, where's my acrylic white? Here it is. Just white for the happy and the day. I think that'll look nice. So I want to get all the lettering done first, and then I'll go back in and finish up the pretty little hearts. So I'm just going to show you the colors here. And then I will paint this off camera, because this is going to take a little bit here. That's not going to work. Let's try this little brush. All right. And I really want to try to keep my lines here, too. These are kind of difficult to paint. But anyway, these letters are all going to be in this pretty white. And I'm probably going to end up doing two coats, each one of these colors. And if you go over your line that you drew, it really doesn't matter because you're going to go over that and paint that red or pink or whatever you want to color it. So this is going to be the color of all of my letters. And I'm going to have to go in here. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know how I want to do that to keep these lines in here to define these letters. We'll figure that out once we get it all painted up. That is going to be these letters. We're going to do this one in white. So we're going to have happy and day in white. Like I said, do whatever colors you want to do. You could do the lettering pink and red too if you'd want. I just have so much stuff. I mean, I don't put up a ton of stuff for Valentine's Day, but what I do have is all pretty much red and pink, so that's why I figure I throw a little bit of this white in here just to kind of break it up a little bit. So I think that'll look pretty on the lettering. And then I'm going to do the same thing down here. The day is going to be white. Oop, I don't want to get too much down in that crease. Um... Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to keep these defined here. So once I paint over them, they're going to disappear on me. But I may just go back over them again before I put my next coat on. But I think that'll look really pretty. 
These signs are a lot of fun to make. Alright, so that will be our thing here. Yeah, it's going to cover up what I drew, but we'll figure it out as we go along here. Hopefully I can remember how I did it. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, these letters, like I said, these are all going to be white. Like I said, it's going to take some time, so I'm not going to make you guys watch me do all this. I just kind of want to show you the colors. And then in here, I'm going to do... Oops, I already stuck my finger in the paint. Um, the Valentine part, that is going to be done in this pretty, pretty pink. And I just think these are going to go together really well with the white the white and the pink, because these are just pretty colors. But that's what this is going to be, all the way down around here to the S, and then, you know, it starts up here, and that's going to get all painted the pretty, pretty pink. Alright, so let me just do this one spot here. I think this is going to be really pretty. I love that pink. It's just really, really pretty. I know I keep saying pretty, but it really is. All right, so those are the two colors I'm going to do the letters. Um, we'll do the hearts after I get that all finished. Now, for this little guy here, I want to paint everything except the hearts and the little gnome in this um, sheepskin color. And I think that will look really nice. So, uh, this brush will do. I'm not going to pour all, any of this out right this second because um, I'm just going to show you here how, what color this is going to be. So this, it's like, it's like a creamy off-white color. Uh, it's called sheepskin. I always kind of just assumed that was more of a yellowish, but it really, I don't know, it may have a little bit of a yellow undertone to it, but it's just a really pretty... Um, off-white or like an antique white. I used to love that color. I used to paint all my kitchen cabinets used to be that color too. That nice off-white color. But I'm going to paint, like I said, everything on here is going to get painted that color. And this will probably take two coats too. This is the chalk paint. The other was the acrylic. Like I said, it doesn't really matter which you know, paint you want to use. So, anywho, and then these will paint this pretty pink and red color, and then we'll get our little gnome guy painted. I don't know how I want him painted. I'm probably going to make his little beard white. I think that would be the best color for him for Valentine's Day. But anyway, that's what color this whole thing is going to be. So, I'm just going to paint all of it in the sheepskin color. So once I get this, these parts all painted up, and then I'll come back and show you how I'm going to paint the rest of these guys. Alright guys, this is all nice and dry now. This is nice and sturdy. I actually painted the other side of it already. This side I'm just going to paint in a white. I had to do most of this off camera mainly because I had to hold it up so close that my head would have been in front of the camera trying to paint these things. But I just want to show you the colors I chose to do this one. I painted the envelope in the center with the Deco Art um, Metallic, and this is the Splendid Gold, it's called. You can get this at Michael's and probably uh, Walmart or whatever. And then I switched over to chalk paint because that Apple Barrel paint, it just was not looking nice on here. Um, it was kind of lumpy looking when I tried to get it a little bit thicker. So I switched back to the chalk paint, and I used the Imperial Red in the Folk Art chalk paint. And you can get that at Michael's, too. And then I used, this is called the Prominent Pink that I used for these other little hearts in here. But like I said, whatever, whatever colors you choose. And then I used the White Adirondack um, for these. And then, you know, I just painted those pink and red in the center. And that is all I did for this. Now, I'm not going to put anything on this because I'm actually, to hang it, if you put the thing on, it hangs kind of lopsided. So I'm actually going to, I have a nail on my wall here, I'll show you when I hang it up, I'll take a picture of it. I'm just going to put it right in here and it hangs up nice 
and straight. So that is how I painted this one. And like I said, I was going to do some more painting on camera, but I just couldn't see unless I had it right in front of my face. Now this one was kind of a pain, I must admit. I'm not a big fan of this. I like it now that it's done, but it was a really, I don't know, kind of a pain trying to distinguish between the letters and stuff the way that it's made. But what I did do is I took, where did it go, one of these real fine tip Sharpies. You can get these a lot of times. I get them at Dollar Tree. But you can get these pretty much anywhere. And I just kind of went in between the letters here just to give them a little more definition because they just kind of all blended together. Um, this one looks like I made a boo-boo, but if, where you can see there's like a, a cut in here. So that was kind of hard too. But if you wanted, you could add some glitter and stuff to some of these hearts. I'm over glitter this year. <laughs> I've had so much glitter from Christmas time. And I am going to have a little glitter here with some of the little hearts I'm going to use for the other um, little thing. And again, I'm just going to do the back in a white. And if you don't want to do the back, if you're just going to hang it on a wall, it really doesn't make any difference. But it is pretty, but it was kind of a pain just trying to figure out how to get those letters to stand out. But I think these are going to look really nice all hanging up. And then the little box here, whatever you want to call this, like an envelope, this is how I painted this guy too. Same thing on here though, it's like cut in these little um, details, but once you paint them they kind of disappear. So I just went over those with the Sharpie marker just to um, do that. And then I did my dots. I'm gonna, I left this blank so I'm going to show you guys how I did it. And I think in this one I'm just going to put some succulents in here for now. I also have these little tiny roses that I might use later on in here. I didn't, couldn't figure out which one I wanted to do. These just didn't look quite right either. These I picked up at Dollar Tree a while ago. But they're just, the colors of them just aren't right. They're too orangey. So I think I am just going to stick some succulents in here and some of these little hearts that I made on the little skewers. So I just want to show you guys, if anybody hasn't seen how I do my little um, dot edging, and I think that looks real pretty, especially on Valentine's stuff. So what I do is I take one of these, let me get some of this paint out of my way here. Oh, and for his nose, I did use a different color. I used this, um, this is the apple barrel, and I used, it's called Warm Buff. I used that color for his nose, and then for his beard, I used this milk chocolate color, um, because I just didn't have anything the right color I wanted to use in chalk paint, so it was just easier just to do it that way. But I think he came out really cute. And also over here, I'm going to stick a, another heart, because it just looks weird with nothing here. And I didn't have anything else small enough to put in there. If you have a Cricut machine or something, you could print out something. But I took one of these little hearts. You know, you could get these bags of these little hearts, a little gem-looking hearts at Dollar Tree, and they're just plain on the back. I actually took one, and then I took the um, uh, chalk paint, the Imperial Red, and I just put a couple coats on that. So we're just going to hot glue that right on here, just so it has a little something on the other side. Let me get my glue in there. And that, whoops, and I got glue all over it already. I'll get that off in a minute. But I figured that would look cute just with a little something over there. I don't have to peel that hot glue off when it cools down. But there, that kind of evens that out a little bit. All right, let me leave that glue alone until it gets cooled off, and I can peel, pluck that right off of there. But anyway, that's what I did for here, just to kind of even it out a little bit. It just looked funny. Is that going to come right off, or am I going to pull the paint off? All right, we're going to wait to do that. So to do my little dots, and these are the size brushes I used for this whole thing because it's very small, and I want to say it probably took me about three hours to paint all these up, you know, because I kind of had to wait for some of it to dry in between two. So I figured that's why I wanted to get these started here because they do take a little bit of time to do, but they're really nice, and I really, really, really love this one. This is my favorite one. All right, and this guy too. He's awful cute too. So I take one of these embossing tools. You can get these at Dollar Tree too. On one end it has the bigger ball and then it has the smaller one on the other end. But for this I use the big side and hopefully my paint's not too dried out here that I can finish doing this. Um, but again, I use the chalk paint and I just dip my the little ball in there and then just start making dots. I hope you can see my hand always seems to get in the way here, but I don't have any room to put this camera on the other side. But anyway, I just keep making little dots. I don't measure them or anything, just kind of eyeball it. My paint. 
paint's a little thick and dry in here right now. But that's it. And then after I get those on there, all you need is a paper towel, what I do with it, and just wipe the end of your little thing off. These are very easy just to clean up. And then I just went ahead with the red and just kind of go right underneath it in between your little pink dots. And that's all I do to make this little border. And it just adds a little something to it. Real quick and real easy. There. And that's it. And that guy is done. Um, if you want to put something else back there, you can. Um, like I said, just choose your colors and stuff and paint these guys up. But I love this little gnome guy. I think he's adorable. All right, now for this, I'm going to have to wait for this to dry here for a second. Where is my little... Uh, uh, where'd you go? I can get my... Nope, that went to the other thing. All right, well, we can put that back on now. Let me set this aside before I mess it up. And then I'm going to make another one of these here, so I'll show you guys how I made these. So I love these little hooks that they have now. They just go in here, and they open up, and you're done. Whoops. And there you go. That's ready to hang up. And I think that would be lovely for Valentine's. I don't do a ton of decorating for Valentine's Day, but I absolutely loved all these wood things that they had, so I'm going to make myself a few little decorations. Now for this, for, to make those little things, all you need is these little skewers. They usually have, I think there's like a hundred of them in a package at Dollar Tree. And then just stick that right through your heart. And try to get it as centered as you can. And I just pull them down. As many of them as you want on here. Or you could put something in between too if you don't want just hearts. But it's fairly easy to get through. And they have the pink ones, and they had the red ones, but I decided I really, really, really love this pink. So, and that's what we're going with for this. So there. And then you can just break this off. And you can use these in all kinds of, you know, little flower arrangements or whatever for um, Valentine's Day, or even for like a wedding or something. These would be really pretty too, in a, some sort of a centerpiece. But let me get this out of here. I don't need that anymore. All right, let's see. How are you drying up here? Enough that I can work with you? All right. Let me get my little hanger back on here. Oh, I think I cut these, didn't I? Yeah, I did. All right, I'm going to have to get myself another piece of jute string to hang this back up because I cut those like a fool. Did I cut them both? Sure did. All right, I'm going to grab myself another piece of jute string while this is drying, and then I can get that on here, and then we can fill this up and see how cute it looks. For this, I cut a long piece of this. This is just from Dollar Tree 2, the natural jute. And I actually cut a long piece and doubled it, and then I folded it in half and shoved it through there. That way this is going to come up, and then it will, it's going to hang nice and straight. Put it through the little loop there and pull that up. So then you're going to have it hanging nice and forward here. And then you just need to make a knot however big you want your loop. I don't want it too big. I think that's plenty long, so I'm just going to hang this on a nail too. And that is that as far as hanging that. Or you could put a piece of ribbon through there, whatever you'd like to do. But I think that's going to be just fine. And now I'm just going to take some of these um, succulents. They usually have these at Dollar Tree. They come in these little pots. I just pop them out of that little pot. And I'm just going to set these in here. I'm not going to like attach anything. Um, I'm going to stick two of these bigger ones in here. And then I'll stick this one down here in the center like so. I don't know where if I want these coming out the side or if I, I think I want them sticking up like this way. I think that'll look cuter. So let me break this one off. I'm gonna have to hang this up or they're gonna fall out. But and 
I'll just stick this one down on this side to get underneath here. And you could go ahead and glue these in if you want to. I'm not going to glue these in because I may change up my mind here on this. But that is how that will look with the little heart sticking out of the envelope. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hang these little things up and get this glue off of my heart and we'll see how these look hanging up. And I'm just going to take pictures of them, I guess, once I get them hung up, and I'll put them at the end of the video just to show you guys how they look hanging up here on my wall. And uh, that's it. So I just wanted to show you guys how I was painting these up. I know a lot of people, you know, kind of just want ideas, and maybe this gave you an idea of what you want to do. And, um, yeah, like I said, just go for whatever color you want to do, and that's it. But thanks so much for watching, everybody. I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone.